man look at this only nine minutes late today not too bad for me <laughs> how's everyone doing we're uh planning on attacking st croix again in the free to play server uh account i guess is the word i'm looking for looking forward to it though we're doing something a little bit different today as you saw in the title perhaps uh st croix walleye versus pike we're going um, two different things. We got the medium spoon, six seventh ounce, six aught. Um, a great, a great lure to be using on multiple locations. Not, uh, and this might just be the first place that we uh, get to use it. You know, and might use it elsewhere as well. We are bringing a kayak with us today so that we can get out to some deeper water. Um, but we might try it from shore as well, just in case you don't have a kayak. And then uh, we have our pike stuff as well, just in case we get bored and we want to try the pike. So, obviously, the walleye is going to be great fishing. We could probably attack them at night, which is why I got this uh, nighttime spoon as well. Um, and that would be great. Hopping nights at St. Croix if you're catching enough walleye for sure. Um, but we have two rods for pike, so we're going to give it a go. Who's in the chat, though? We got Parker Blanton, uh, Novembers, Lisa McCarty, uh, Yodi Yodi. <laughs> it's fun to say phase soup uh king david a e light fishing andy smith is here limp fish uh lucas leaf is here lures reptiles 2 30 a.m my goodness gracious dior j king david again brian bogner taco lance parson the names go on i love it i love it well if everyone is is ready to hold your peace 
You know, I don't want to be hearing, oh, why don't you try this thing? Because I don't have it. I just showed you everything I have. So I'm going to give you all 30 seconds to a minute to spit out whatever you're going to say for the rest of the live stream. If you're missing this moment, if you're not here already and you're going to come later in the live stream, you missed your point. Everyone here right now has got my back. You know, don't don't go telling me at the nine o'clock mark that I should have brought so and so. Nothing important to do. Oh God, not this again, Lucas. Anywho, all right, we're ready to go. I'm counting down ten, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Oh, I didn't see any more chats come up. BZ for Pike use poppers. I don't know if I want to use. If I want to really go for Pike, though, with the lures, to be honest. I have walkers. Um, poppers, poppers, poppers. Do I have enough money for poppers? I need to $11,800. So I have 1200 to work with. Ooh, that's cutting her close, boys. Poppers, poppers, poppers. Where be you poppers? Oh God, where the heck are you? Top water, there we go. Poppers, big old poppers. Two up popper. Oh, they're getting way too expensive, guys. We're getting into the major poppers too. For a four up popper, it's gonna cost me $3,100. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I would love to say I could. You use the gold narrow spoon or the worm with three out hook. We do have a jig head and a worm, um, which we can try as well. Um, we got we got the three out jig head. We got worms, so we should be good. The one out gold narrow spoon, though, I'm gonna skip. I'm not gonna do that. Then the while, whale, whale, whale. <laughs> When does the saltwater release again? Oh, it released back on April 31st. AKA, not a real day. AKA, I told everyone that on April 1st. Uh, April Fools. I don't know why it took you all this long to look at the calendar and realize that it wasn't an actual day. You guys were just really trusting me, I guess. You're too trusting. Trust in yourself. That's a T, that's a BZ tip right there. Trust in yourself before other people. Okay, top notch. Let's go to St. Croix, everybody. Hold on to your butts, as Arnold would say. Mr. Is it Darnold? I think it's Darnold. Mr. Darnold. This is pen bow today. I have a pen. Makes me look smarter. I can go, hmm. I can chew on it when I'm thinking. And you can go, oh wow, he's really thinking right now. He's uh, he's chewing on the end of his pen. That means he must be thinking. I can go, oh, no, no, no. I can point at the camera with the pen too. Very expressive pens. All right, let's go after some walleye today, shall we? We're gonna start off the boat dock. We're gonna do friends only room. Send me friend requests. Obviously we have no friends on the free to play server. Everyone knows that, right? Everyone knows that. You feel betrayed now. <laughs> You're betrayed. Welcome to Betrayville. All right, let's get into our kayak. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. You know, got it from Dick's Sporting Goods. It was on sale, only 199. Not too bad if you ask me. It's a little rainy out right now though. All right, let's paddle her out. So, from what I've been told, we should be going over here. And fishing between those two buoys. Was it this buoy or the other buoy? I don't remember now. Which buoy was it? You know what? We'll just start with one and we'll move on to the next one. How about that? Love your videos. Thanks for the tips. <gasps> Eli fishing. Thank you. You should curl your mustache like rolly fingers. My. <sighs> okay. Let me tell you a short story while we're rowing ourselves out here. Row faster, Hino. Use those alien muscles. How come you can hold a 400 pound fish, but you can only paddle fast for like 10 seconds? Huh? Yeah, science. Explain that one, why don't you? Can we just fish from here? Can we just fish from the dock? 
You know what? We're gonna find out. Paddle around, he nil. Paddle around. Um, so got my first haircut in Milwaukee, right? Cool place. It's hip. They're playing the rap music. It's a pretty neato place. Everyone's hop and uh, hip hip hopping and whatnot. So anyway, um, I'm getting my haircut first time, and uh, cuts my hair. Looks nice. I'm like sweet. I dig this look. Next thing I know, she goes, you want me to trim up your beard? I said, well, I've never had my trim bearded, you know, my, my beard trimmed in a, in a barbershop before. Sure, try it out. Let's see, I, I'm not afraid of trying new things. Let's give it a go. Next thing I know, she's shaving my mustache off. And I'm like, well, you never said anything about my mustache. But there we go. Grow out the ends of my mustache for like three, four months or whatever. Maybe half a year. Cut off. Like that. And uh, and that's why you don't see me with long mustache ends anymore. Because of her. So, what can I say? We're trying this out. If we don't catch anything, we'll move on to something different. We're also not fishing at the best time of the day right now. But, oh, 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 we're hooked up, everybody. We're hooked up. I think we should be able to do max drag with this. Not that it's a lot, but. But, right, oh, there's our first fish of the day. What is it going to be, though? What's it going to be, though? What are you? Oh, got ourselves a walleye first fish, everybody. Wowie zowie. Starting it off. Starting it off with a trophy walleye. A. A. Not too shabby, everybody. Take a little snipper snapper picture of that one. Uh, 10 pounds. Yeah, 30.1 inches. When we were fishing on Lake Erie a few weeks back, we caught a 30 inch walleye. It was pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much right on the money with the one we caught. What do you think of that guy, he nil? And to think he's not even a unique. If there was a 30-inch walleye, I mean, like, every tackle shop around Lake Erie had some sort of mounted 30-inch-plus walleye up there. Walleye crazy, Lake Erie, man. All right, top-notch first fish at St. Croix. Trying out the walleye fishing. First walleye. Down, bro. Let's keep it going. It was David Bowie. Oh, good one. You went to his McDonald's and he shot me in the leg. Your stories are always top notch. 100 out of 100. One time I shot a buck with a 300 wind mag and had an antler sticking out of the back of my truck. Asked, oh my gosh, what did you feel? Shoot at my eye. I said, recoil. Recoil. I got, I used 300 wind mag too. I have one of those sweet, um, well now, is it called Limb Saver? Nah, is it called Limb Saver? Can't even think of what the freaking recoil pad's called, but, uh, yeah. Barely feel anything now. That thing is amazing. Good recoil pad on the end of that wind mag. Helps out. And message my friend about girl problems. Hey, no big deal, Leaf. You go for it, man. You help out with them girl problems. Six, seven downs, taking a little while to get down. But it gives me time to, ch to catch up on the chat, so that's okay. She liked the $20 tip. <laughs> you know it. I'm three levels from St. Croix. Oh, nice. Two levels from St. Croix. Love walleye fishing in Lake Erie. I'm a from Erie. Really? That's awesome, butter. That's sweet, man. Well, yeah, I had a great time. We caught a lot of walleye. A lot. I 30 30 plus probably we uh we let a lot of them go just farming pike at white moose so, hey that's not too bad you can make some decent money catching the pike at white moose so long as they don't bite you off like they did in my first fishing planet series 200,000 seriously that's not a bad uh, way to go about it I wrote down that I needed ex at least 66,000 for the fish fort XL um, so that we don't have to worry about the sturgeon you know I'm just gonna go I'm gonna do I'm gonna we're, we're gonna do a uh, twitching maneuver we might need to let it get deeper man what is this thing doing 
Sink faster, medium spoon. Sink faster. We might switch to the worm and try that too. Like I said, we're not fishing at the best time of the day either. So I expect it to be a little slow right now. I just wanted to kind of test it out before we... Bro, that... What is going on, man? It's not holding a twitch. Can't tell if it's... Oh! Okay! Okay! Is this a freaking brown trout? I think we have a brown trout on. Well, this is my first brown trout at St. Croix on the free-to-play server. Is he gonna be unique? Our first brown trout in the freaking unique? That's a trophy! Trophy brown trout to start us off! Oh man, the, the trout models! Pretty! Nice! Nice, 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 everybody! Well, 671 bucks. Eh! Not as good as the walleye, right? I mean, the 10 pound walleye gave us about, what was it, like 1,000 almost? Was it over 1,000? I think it was over 1,000. Might have been over 1,000, but uh, we'll keep him just for funsies. Just for funsies. I like seeing a brown trout. Look at this. Check this guy out. Where are you, brownie? That could be taken as racist. Probably shouldn't say that in public. All right, look at this guy. Yeah, boy. Can't wait till I can get my hands on one of these Milwaukee Browns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though we are in Michigan, I believe, with St. Croix. Anywho. Oh, I see a friend quest. Got you, dirt crew. Got you, bro. All right. Let's keep it going. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Can we join Fish on Free to Play account with you as well? Absolutely. What you recommend from level 65 to 68? Like I say. <laughs> I stick to one rule. One rule after Blue Crab. is As soon as you unlock Blue Crab Island, uh, you should understand how to play Fishing Planet. It's a pretty simple concept. Uh, you catch you catch big fish, you level up, you make money. That's that's what it is. I mean, you you've you've done that for 54 levels. You should you should be able to get with the program now. That is my uh, easy cop out of uh, not having to remember anything out of Blue Crab, but to be honest, come on. Marone River, what should you be catching? What the frick? What happened there? Was it a snag? What do you think you should be fishing for in Marone River, eh? Uh, ma what is the. Makumaku? You shouldn't be fishing for anything in Makumaku. I hate that place. Love fishing, but can't find any game. Well, this is a perfect one for you. It's free to play. Give it a go. Making pretty good money farming pike. Taking 200 shires till I run out. Hey, there you go. Fishing plant hard to play. It's not hard to play. It uh, it can be confusing at times, which is why we have helpful helpful guides. Ooh, advertisement. Advertisement for helpful free to play BZ Hub fishing guide. You are welcome. If you have purple worms, use those. I do have purple worms. We, we've caught a few on the medium spoon, but you're right. We should probably switch to the purple worm. Give that a try. Once we get this puppy in, we'll uh, we'll switch it out. Sent the request. Good deal. Best fishing planet YouTuber in my... Oh, thank you, Brayden. Please pay the Hunter Classic. Hey, hey, Lucas, while we're asking please about things, how about you... Please don't ask to ask me to play the Hunter Classic. I might have thrown in an extra ask there. But for three live streams, you've asked me to play the Hunter Classic. Each time I've told you I'm not going to play it. And at the third time, it's like three strikes, you're out. So... Ask me again, bro. Ask me again. I'm like that elf. He's not an actual elf. He's the, you know, the dude in elf. You think you're feeling strong, man? Call me elf one more time. Ask me to play Hunter Classic one more time. We'll never see you say anything about Hunter Classic ever again. Or anything else. People too good to hit the like? I know. What's their deal? 
What's their deal? It's okay. People don't like me. If they had a button that was kind of like, eh, like down vote is a little much. Up vote, eh, might be a little much too. But if there was just kind of a, eh, he's okay. I think I, I think I would get a lot of those. I feel like I'd get a lot of those buttons hit. All right, we're switching. We're switching out. We're going to the four aught worm. Let's hit that worm. So evidently, if I've got it right with the worm, we are supposed to let this drop all the way down to the bottom. It's about two times as heavy as the last lure, so hopefully it takes, you know, half the time to get down to the bottom. It's falling pretty good. And then we're supposed to do a lift and drop as we uh, take it in. So that's what we're going to do, everybody. That's what we're going to do. Basically live on Lake Ontario. We'll ride on. That's pretty sweet. Do you know when the next update is? <laughs> no? Wait, do you think I work for, for Fishing Planet or something? I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing for nobody for nothing. You saw the Giants vs. Kansas City baseball game a couple weeks ago. Did you? How did it go? I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I know nothing about it. Fill me in. What did I miss? I think we should be doing two speed. Whoa! <laughs> Every time it goes, swing, swing up to the top. Gets me excited. So I don't think I went into detail about uh, what gear we're using right now, but I'll tell you, is this a freaking salmon? Bro, we are catching everything but a walleye right now. Well, for Salmon on the free-to-play account, too. Nito Frito. God. <laughs> I think I'm going to let that guy go. He's like half as good as a walleye. All right, guys. Let me give you the rundown on what I'm using at St. Croix, just in case anyone's wondering what I'm doing. So, as you remember, I was using the two uh, Phoenix and Arctic uh, match rods for the pike, right? Well, with it being spinning for walleye, I had to buy an entirely new rod. I am using one of the reels from the uh, pike rods, though, just to, so I don't have to spend so much money. And then if I do want to fish for pike, all I have to do is just drag the reel over to the other rod and bingo, bango, bongo. Um, but, so we got the Big River 6500 reel, 19 pounds. We got the Loki 67 spinning rod there, um, 23 pounds. So you can see where I'm going with this, 19, 23. We got 25 pound line, fluoro. And then we got 26 pound titanium leader on there. I'm not sure if we necessarily need the titanium leader, but the people I had seen who were fishing for unique walleye uh, were using titanium leaders um, in their um, in their setups. So that's what we're using too, just to play it safe. Um, then obviously the barbless jig head, the four aught, and the purple worm. That's what we're doing today, everybody. There you go. E E S S. New patch was a few days ago. You know, now that you say that, yeah, I think I do remember um, them putting out something about uh, improvements that they had done with the game. I think you're right, yeah. While we're waiting for this, we could technically throw out a match rod. Couldn't we? With, like, with the bait all the way down as far as it can go to, like, I bet we could do that. I want to do that. that. That wasn't working very well. We snagged up again. Gosh dang it. That's so annoying. We have to wait so long for it to get to the bottom and then it snags up. A shoe? What do we get? A shoe? I'm thinking shoe. Ah, shells. Don't need no shells. Freaking fracking. What, what do I look like to you? Freaking shell boy? No. Oh, he's catching me on the harvest evenings. This time I'm cutting beans on Pharmacy Only 22. Hey, right on. Gotta get those beans. Get the soy. It's all about the soy. McDonald's needs their soy for the burgers. Get those. Get that soy. Fox running dogs dead eight times. Oh, my God. Best fishing game ever. My opinion. Fish on, baby. Hey, there you go. I think it is the best fishing game ever. Best fishing game for what's out right now. 
There is no other game that has this amount of. F Are we snagged again? Frick, bro. No other game that has this amount of fish, this amount of fishing locations, this amount of equipment, RPG element. Um, I just, I, I think it is. I think it is the best fishing game out there right now. I'll tell you what, there is some squirrely stuff going on down there. But we ain't catching the fish. Maybe we should go ahead and switch to the best time. Shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. Oh my, it's not raining anymore. Okay. You know what I'm also gonna do? Call me crazy, call me crazy. Don't call me crazy. Don't do that, that makes me feel bad. We are gonna throw out this match rot. I'm maxing out the depth. That's right. Say what? That's right, I'm maxing out the depth. And I max it out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it right there. Call me crazy. It ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Because I have a good feeling about that one. <laughs> All right, top notch. Yeah, whoa, is that some freaking binocular vision zoom right there? Jesus Louise. All right, Jesus. I, I said Jesus to all of our religious friends out there. I did not say that, the other guy. All right. Let's toss out the worm. Get that worm. It's all about the worm, um, germ, worm, berm. It's obviously one word we want to avoid. Worm, squirm. Yeah, that sounds like a dance move. The worm squirm. Gotta give it the old worm squirm. Alrighty, the old lift and drop worm squirm. Come on, fish. Give me that two star lift and drop. I said two star. Now you're not even giving me one star. What kind of bogus stuff is this? Hey! Hooked up! Hooked up! Oh, it's a freaking smallmouth. We're not going for you, smallmouth, you silly goober. Fishing plant where you choose a location anywhere in the world. That would be nice. That would be nice. I mean,. There's a lot of times where I feel like they do a secret collab with me. <laughs> like before the Nile River came out, if anyone asked me, what would you add to the game? Like, what would you want them to add? I always said, freaking Africa, man. Give me those tiger fish. That's what I want to fish for. Give me those tiger fish. What did we get within like the next year? Freaking Nile River, man, with the tiger fish. I ain't gonna listen to boats all day long either. So if anyone wants to play any tomfoolery, you're gonna be you're gonna be in for a world of pain. Do we snag up twice? Are you joshing me? Ridiculous. Wow, we've cleaned up this lake so much that we got an achievement for it. Thanks, fishing planet. All right. One more time. There you go. Damien's late. Eh, you're right on time. What do you think of the angler? It's a great start. It's got a great start. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. We just try a twitch this time. We keep snagging up on the bottom when we do a lift and drop. Dude, we're snagging on the bottom when we're doing a twitch too. Jeez Louise. What do you want from me? Is this a fish? Please be a fish. I think we got a fish finally. It's another freaking smallmouth. Honestly, right now, guys, I'm having a real tough time believing that 
the walleye is better than the pike. We've caught one walleye this entire time. We would have already caught six pike by now. We have $2,000. I'm, I guess I'm gonna switch back to the spoon because at least that's what, what we caught a, a freaking walleye on. I realize we're not technically fishing like from a boat out in the deeper water, but come on. With the worms cast to the buoys. Oh, we need to cast to the buoy. I thought it was cast in between the buoys. Okay. Well, the worm's not completely out then. I just wasn't doing it right, I guess, according to Parker. Haven't watched you in a while, Bo. Nice to be back, Blake says. Right on, Blake. Glad you glad you say so. Loving your content, by the way. Def helped me through the first few rough hours of trying to figure out the heck I was doing on Fishing Planet. Appreciate you 100%. Thank you. Goodness gracious. The chat is full of wonderful people today. Okay. We just can't do a freaking Twitch, evidently. Are you snagged again, dude? Are you joking me? Is this just Snag Mountain right here? What is the deal? We're not even on the bottom and we're snagging on everything. What is a shell doing five feet off the bottom? Ugh. Jeez Louise. All right, we're throwing towards the buoy with the spoon this time. Let's give this a go. You don't have a job of fishing plan developers. <laughs> if I did, it would be the best kept secret, right, Alexander? What's your pH smallmouth? My pH level smallmouth. I don't know. In real life or in the game? I don't think I've ever caught one in real life, to be quite honest. I need to get out in Milwaukee and start throwing for for smallmouth because I know they're out there. I've just never attempted to do it. So now that I'm here in Milwaukee, I should probably give it a go. So for some reason, the Twitch is just not. I'm not sure if it's working and just not showing correctly, or what the deal is. But at least the stop and go shows correctly when we do it. Sort of kind of fades away quick there too. Dubs. Never had luck with the walleye here. Well, what's the deal? I had a guy literally message me or comment on one of my videos saying that the pike was wrong, the walleye were the way to go. Another freaking brown trout, though. These guys are just blowing my mind. Well, okay, those six pound brown trout. Pretty fish, man. I know the tiger trout are out. A tiger trout? I think they're tiger trout anyway. I know there's tiger trout out here as well. I gotta look that up. That doesn't sound right to me now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Did you drift over there or did you have some sort of fish on? Now I just don't know what to think. Do we have a four out hook too? S slightly smaller hook, just to see. Just to see if that does anything. Have you been trout fishing since you moved? Uh, no, I, I'm not sure. I mean, a little bit maybe. Uh, we, uh, we caught the one steelhead. That's about it. Haven't caught any other trout. Ooh, ooh, is this a fish? Oh my god, bro, come on. No, 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 do that to me. You're getting me all excited for nothing. Do you have any pets? Of course we have pets, Brayden. God, they show up in the live stream all the time. I don't know what that is, Lucas back at y'all from Louisiana. My goodness gracious. Get out any country to catch fish and fish planet. What would it be? Australia. Gotta add the Australia fishing. What I would like from Australia, somehow, I would like a freshwater stream or something going in one side of the map, and then I want the other side to be like 
freaking coastal with tide pools and stuff like that and then have some like ocean area where you can have a boat and go up and down the side and stuff like that so you can kind of have the freshwater uh australian experience even if i mean i don't foresee them putting in two australian maps but but maybe they would i i doubt it though i feel like they would try to do it all with one who knows but it would be cool if we could have some uh i i'm not sure uh bear monday and stuff like that up in uh murray cod that freshwater <laughs> i don't even know if it's freshwater or not but uh have that over there and then on the other side have like the uh the big the big ocean fish as well i think it'd be sweet i think it'd be a pretty sweet thing to have but what do i know what do i know football junkie hi 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 you don't need to repeat i'm a good reader it just takes me a little bit to get to it so be patient or else you're gonna be patient while you wait five minutes to talk again New maps in this game now? I don't know. It depends on when you started playing, I suppose. You're playing Hunting 2? Hunting Simulator 2? Finally to continue the free-to-play journey. Yeah. Right now, this uh, walleye adventure... It's not making me feel very good, though. The medium spoon is not doing too much. I don't know if we should be doing a stop and go. The Twitch just isn't performing. I mean, it says it's doing a three-star Twitch, but it goes away every time I let go of the freaking thing. What are you doing with your life, Medium Spoon? Hey, we did hook up on some. Okay. And it's a small mouth. You've got to be joking me. What is your deal, small mouth? Let's travel around all 50 states catching fish. I would love to do that. I really would. You play it. It's the big lake and fish of the very end. Damien Garcia with the sub. Thank you so much. Little canal meets the big lake and fish on the very end on the left side. So we're moving spots now, huh? Don't like this spot anymore. Why don't we give the worm one last try? If it doesn't work, we will go fish for some pike for a little bit. Uh, or, no, no, no. Rephrase that. We're gonna give the worm a few more tries. If that doesn't catch any fish, we'll switch on over to the little part way over there that you just mentioned. Try to catch something over there. If that doesn't work, we'll go catch some pike so that this day isn't a freaking bust. And then, uh, and then when nighttime comes, I do want to come back and we'll sling that nighttime medium spoon around and see if we can get some walleye doing that. Okay, we threw it at the buoy this time. We're doing a twitch on the bottom. If it would hit the bottom, I would do a, a lift and drop. But the lift and drop is freaking bananas. What more do you want from me? How is this so bad that it's one out of three stars? It's, it's not a hard thing. You lift it up off the bottom and then you drop it. This should be three out of three stars right now. I just don't get it. Twitch is bugged right now. What's your opinion on all the monster fish? I don't I don't know. I don't really have an opinion. They're fun to catch. They interesting designs and have fun stories. That's probably it. You should travel around all 50 states catching fish. Have you killed the deer? Have I killed the deer? Nah, those antlers just fell off of a deer and wound up on my wall. They like hopped into my house. I was like, ah, some antlers. And then they freaking just jumped up on the wall and they've been there ever since. Crazy thing. And those antlers over there, same thing. Those ones right there, same thing. And the ones behind me over here, 
all the same thing. Just a bunch of antlers just ran into my house, hopped up on the wall, and stayed there. It was crazy. Some of the biggest smallmouth in the country are up there. Up where? Underwear? Oh, oh. Just made it to Marone River, catching a whaling catfish. Oh my god, I love snagging things. It's the best. Wowie zowie, I'm having so much fun fishing for walleye. Be a shoe at least. Please be a shoe. Ah, how many shells do they have here? That's the third different shell we've caught. Alright, well if we were fishing for shells, we had a pretty good morning. Let's go fish uh, over here. On the far left side of the canal. This is where we caught our big, uh, I gotta look it up now. I said I was gonna look it up and I didn't. Brook trout. Yeah, the tiger trout, such a cool fish, man. This is where I caught my uh, big tiger trout, was over here. I don't know where to cast. We just cast towards the buoy? Let's cast towards the buoy. And it's fun. Hey, right on, Damien. Glad to hear it. I saw that, Alexander. I wish I could, man. I've got work. I've got a wife. I've got two dogs. It's hard to uh, pick up everything and go drive off to 50 states and fish, but I would totally want to. Maybe in my 30s. Once I reach my 30s, I'll... I'll I'll try to get a van and with a bed in the back and I'll try to go to all 50 states or at least hang out in Florida. I'm sure there's a lot of people living out of vans in Florida anyway. I'll fit in with the crowd. Have you killed somebody? Killed myself inside. The little person inside me. <laughs> killed him. Yep. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you gotta kill the people inside you to become the person you wanna be. There are some, there are genuinely some people out there thinking to themselves right now. The other day, he talked about having multiple personalities, and he just brought it up a second time. I'm starting to think he actually does have pers multiple personalities. No. I definitely. Howdy, partner! How are ya? I'm Cowboy Bo. Oh, arr, I'm Pirate Bo. Yeah, all those different costumes for the monster fish are now making sense, huh? You had no idea, did you? Oh, guys, we're actually getting a two-star lift and drop here, but we're still not catching any freaking fish. And now we're doing a Twitch. Alright, should we switch to the medium spoon? Give the medium spoon to try. Boy, while I uh while I fishing. I had high hopes. I had high hopes for this. Really did. Should I be fishing on this way left side? You had luck by the buoy. Little star. Host a tournament. Per round in game time. I would end up I would end up eliminating myself in the first round by this point. Generic deer, hello, TJ Capel. Hello. Favorite fishing plan you two? Oh, Caleb. Well, thank you. I like that. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, it, I, I hear it all. I do. Some people say, oh, you are my second favorite YouTuber. So sweet. Thank you. Um, you know. Boy, that was an Emerald Lake freaking walleye right there. That's the t that's the kind of trophies we're searching for. Weak. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. You like a New Zealand map? Maybe that's what they should do. They have a um, they have an Australian map, a little freshwater, a little salt water, and then they have a New Zealand map. Some eels and whatnot. Some big old trout. How old are you? What, in human years? I don't, age is just kind of a construct. I don't even, I, I don't even know. 
I'd have to, I'd have to figure that out. I know how old I am in ant years, but I never transferred it over to human years. You don't want to hit your 30s, bro. <laughs> well, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Within the next 365 days, anyway, so. <laughs> can you play hunting too? I can play hunting too. Yeah, I can do a lot of things, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really think many things. The splits. I can't do the splits. I can do a lot of stuff, though. A lot of stuff I've tried, I can do. Um, but I can't do the splits. Can't do a backflip. I used to be able to do one on trampoline. Can't do one anymore. Flip. I end up just landing on my butt. Um, but I can play Hunting Simulator 2. That is one of my skills. My skill sets. It's not resume worthy, but I can do it. You should come to the UK and fish for carp. Hey, I tried to do that the last time. The plan fell through. I ended up just fishing for pike and shiners and stuff like that the whole time. Which I had a good time doing that too. So, that was alright. Yo, Evergreen Outfitters. Or by the boat. I'd be fishing towards the boat. Alright guys, this this was fun. Let's do one down the canal. Little uh, This little thing here. Just to see. Just to see. But otherwise, I think we're going to move on. We're gonna move on to, uh, if you have a crank, you should try that. Hey guys, guys, those of you who were there in the beginning, huh, do you remember what we talked about? You remember what we talked, can you bring that up again? Can you bring that up? Got a tattoo, she 18, whoa. Wowie zowie. I had a few tattoos when I was younger. They were pretty sweet. You, uh, you got this paper wet and then you like put it on your arm and then they like stayed there for like not really the whole day but they would they would they would start to go away at the end of the day but they were pretty cool i had like a spongebob one and stuff like that it was pretty neat third crew with the unique brown trout very nice sir what's your pb bass a thousand pounds no i don't fish for bass all right i'm giving up on this this is dumb i'm tired of it walleye fishing is overrated we're moving on back to the pike so that we can actually make some money and i don't go broke in this game how's that for a promise oh gosh 19 pounds 25 pounds uh 25 oh no oh no we can't do max drag on this That's okay. We'll be okay, guys. Let's go catch some pike. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Let's go catch some pike. Yeah. I wish I could ask you all to clap with me, but that wouldn't work. I need to do a live audience sometime. You could say, Milwaukee. BZ Hub is doing a live, live stream. Come go. And I would at least have like maybe one guy there to help like clap with me. That'd be sweet. I, I, I would hope anyway. They should add the Great Lakes as map. Yeah, Mike. I mean, this, uh, this, uh, St. Croix map is pretty much like the closest thing to Great Lakes. They kind of tried to like combine it all together into one, which is pretty par for course when it comes to fishing planet. So. Makes sense. Do you know what fish are going to be in the saltwater update and what are your thoughts on it? I do not. No. I know nothing. I don't work for Fishing Planet. I don't know anything about what they're planning to do other than what they've already said in the forum, which was a lot of random stuff. Like a fatigue sort of thing. Why would this game need some sort of fatigue element? It just sounds annoying. Sounds like a good way for them to make money for for one thing. Gosh dang, we just pulled that float into the deep, into the freaking lily pads there. Oh, nope. 
There we go. What about oh picking up stuff? Don't don't pick up rods. It's the worst. Could also play the Hunter Classic. I swear to God, man. You're never, you're never gonna learn until you have consequences. You have to learn that your comments have consequences. Austin Spencer! Yeah, boy, I got two first names. I got two first names. My name's Austin Spencer. Yeah, bro. Very nice. I like it. Football Junkie Tom! <laughs> Did you just roll a die that had a random words on it or something? What do we got here? Let's throw three dies. <laughs> football, very nice. Okay, that's a good start. Football, we got Junkie and the name die. Tom, all right, top notch. Football, Junkie Tom is my <laughs> username. I dig it, sorry. I don't mean to be a bully. That sounds like a bully. That sounds like something a bully would say. Yeah, boy, you got game. You can do anything once. That's right. You can do anything you want to do one time. I fell from a plane without a parachute one time. And now I'm a ghost. <laughs> With the bright peeps. The bra peeps. Farm some pike. How big is your delay? I don't know. Probably not very much. Just takes me a while to read the chat. Can't you tell I'm busy? Uh, this pike has brought me out to 130 feet. Come on. Come on, pike. Here, pikey boy. Fifty-four on Xbox three days ago left on Congo. You do you, bro. There's no reason to switch if you're happy on Xbox. 31 pound trophy musky very nice man that's awesome well this is obviously a pretty good size pike let's keep him going on oh, now we got another we got another rod going oh golly oh golly gosh this guy is freaking pulling dude i don't want to lose that guy but if we could get this guy in fast that would be great can we do max drag on this guy can't remember we can! We can do max drag on this rod, just not the other one. Okay, they are both pulling like crazy right now. Top notch. I like that in the pike. I like seeing a spunky pike, that's good. Gives them character. Gives them character. Gives me character to fight them, you know what I mean? That's right, you wouldn't want a... You wouldn't want a simple pike fight. I mean, God, just catching them and pulling them in a ride, right, that's just boring. Am I right? Goodness gracious, bro. Both of them out to 140. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? This is the new Fishing Planet update. They did what they could do to freaking ruin my pike spot. They're always doing things to ruin my tips. <laughs> I mean, they, that's a, they see all my episodes. They write them down. Oh, pike spot at St. Croix. And then they tip them like dominoes like a little kid with a magnifying glass and all my little tip videos are ants they're just like Bzzz. ah there we go the pike at st croix are now impossible to reel in <laughs> his spot sucks now that's what they do i swear to god lisa mccarty you were already a sub how did you sub again well the other one seems like it's coming in a little bit that's good. It's at 80 right now. 70, 60, 50. I feel like a football announcer now. He's going into the 40s. Oh, this is last. Last legs, last tails, whatever you want to say. Last fins. Get in here, Piker. Pikerton. Little trophy pike to start us out. $1,400 and 19 pounds. I'll take it. Take it all day compared to the freaking one walleye. Oh, two walleye. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot we caught that three and a half pound walleye too. Now I'm going to have to delve into my comments and figure out which guy said that 
the walleye were better than the pike at St. Croix. <laughs> I tell you what. I read more comments about the pike fishing at St. Croix. Oh, this hook is better. Oh, you said this with lures. Oh, they fish from a kayak. <laughs> no, just follow the freaking tip. I like your spunk trying different stuff. Different stuff is cool sometimes. But don't tell me anything about that. Alright. Two pike down. Let's keep it going. I like it. Two trophies. Two trophies to start us off. Picking up the rod again to pull it into lily pads. That's my style. Let's get this out there. Mark Spain is here. What's going on, Mark Spain? That's a cool name. I I feel like if you walked into a room and people were like, Oh, who are you? And you were like, Mark Spain's the name. And, like, you could say anything and they would believe you. You know what I mean? Mark Spain's the name. And... Lawyering is the game. People would be like, oh, okay. Someone with the name Mark Spain has got to do something cool, you know? Mark Spain's the name. Bullfighting's the game. Wow, this guy's a bullfighter. That's crazy. They would believe you with a name like Mark Spain, you know? Tyrannosaurus Rex Hunter's the game. Whoa, Tyrannosaurus Rex Hunter. Boy, I tell you what, these pike are so slow. I I can I can totally see now how the walleye are better than the pike. What do you think about deep sea fishing and fishing planet? It's a thumbs up from me. Look at that. The camera's even focusing on my thumb. That's how that's that's how much of a thumbs up it is. Do you have any advice for fishing planet? You bet I do. And luckily for you. I've put them all into videos. Not just for you, but for everyone. You could call me a nice guy. Some people do. Other people, worst enemy. It is It is what it is. What's your favorite place to fish in real life? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite place. It's like asking what your favorite dessert is. There's so many good desserts out there. If you if you stick like like a lava cake with ice cream next to a cannoli, next to like my grandma's German chocolate cake, like I'm just gonna be like, I I don't know, I don't know, I, I can't choose one. I'm sorry. Like I, they're all great. That's how fishing spots are to me. Have you ever tried using bottom rods for oversized carp? Um, I'm not sure about the oversized part anyway. I've caught some decent carp, but I'm not sure if they were oversized by any means. I'm not sure how you like what 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 uh, tells you it's oversized. I guess. Another pike. Another pike. Get on a bike for another pike. <laughs> Triple rod setup. Two match, one spinning, one match, one bottom, one spinning in good in here too if you want. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. I just don't have enough money to do that right now. Are you going to have kids? Eventually, maybe. I don't know. I've got too much stuff I want to do right now to have kids. I can't... I can't... Whoa. <laughs> Threw my water bottle off the desk. Uh, I can't just f fly to the Amazon for two weeks for to go fishing with kids at home. Like, I can't... Like, I live nine hours away from my parents house like even if i wanted to go like that's that's jaunt just to drop them off for two weeks it just seems like a lot of work i got too many places i need to go what do you think about deep sea fishing man 
How many times are you gonna ask me? I already answered your question, just ask it once. Allow me to catch up with the chat. If I somehow missed your question or comment, which is like a one out of 10 chance, one out of 20 chance, I don't know. Then, then you can ask again, but don't put it in four times because I already answered your question a long time ago. Completion challenge fish went a few weeks ago. They are giving bait coins now for doing that. Wow. That's sweet. So not only can you feel like a completionist, but you can feel like even more of a completionist because you're getting achievements too. Maybe? Is it an achievement or is it just giving you bait coins? I assume it's an achievement. Because they give you bait coins for achievements. Your first live stream, Alexander says, we'll ride on. Well, sorry. I'm sorry I was so, so strict with you, first live stream, Alexander. I take it back. We're learning as we're going. Little 10 pound chunk of roo, I like it. At some point, we're gonna have to skip to a different time or something, because we're at 107. Right around the halfway mark on a 200 pound fish fort. You might need to change the time to get the fish to get the fish back. Fishing planet will essentially shut off the bite for that specific area that you're in. And you can either you can try to go somewhere else, or you can just move forward like two hours or something like that, and then you can keep fishing. Um, and we're we're probably getting close to that point. So if we sit here for another two minutes and we're not catching anything, though, that bobber's moving. That bobber's moving very suspiciously. Um, we'll keep an eye on it. But what's the biggest fish you caught, Pistol Pete? I got you, bro. I got I got you. It's a frequently asked question, so I have it, an automated answer for it. Whoa, Bjorn's on the hunt yet again. MVP, it's a trap. Wow, he's out. Another sub. The subs are just, they're they are flying in. They're flying in like, like monkeys on the Wizard of Oz, Southern Sunflower, right on. Wow, he's out. Bjorn is just freaking finding all these subs in the grass, evidently. Saturn Springer. He's a Saturn Springer. She, she, they, they are Saturn Springer. Oh my God, are you joking me? Bjorn, take a break, buddy. <laughs> finding too many subs in the grass. Chris, thank you for the sub. Right on, right on. Thank you, everybody. We're catching pike, feeling psyched. There we go. All right, we're rhyming. What are these comments? You can make spot mixes that makes the carp oversized. Someone caught 110 pound silver carp. I have heard about the silver carp. Um, honestly, don't care about the silver carp. Now, if I could catch a 110 pound mirror, for instance, then then I would be all for it. But I. I, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, maybe I'll make a video about catching an oversized big head or silver or something like that, but otherwise it's not really a priority of mine. Now that you are in Milwaukee, I would love to in Venom. I would really love to. Suspects a new hub man or hub woman. Very nice. I'm waiting for the animation to play. There he goes. A very nice suspect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What state you live in? We live in uh, Wisconsin right now. Easton. 139 pound house cat. It was big as a house. Wow. You would have to have a pretty small house to only weigh 139 pounds. It could be a lightweight setup. I don't know. <laughs> TJ. TJ's telling people what's up. I miss when I asked about your favorite fishing spot in Rush Fish 4, but I've also been stepping out to make dinner a bit. Uh, no, I don't think I did see that. Um, I don't think I have a favorite spot in Rush and Fishing 4 yet. I haven't played enough spots, to be quite honest. See, this is definitely the lull. This is definitely the bite lull. 
Let's move the time on a dime. See if we can catch a few more walleye or freaking pike. Now I've got walleye on the mind. Should we just move on? Should we try to catch a few more pike at this time? So we have to wait 10 minutes till we move the time now. So I guess we're gonna spend 10 minutes doing something. For almost two years now and I just wanna say you're going places, man. Never stop what you're doing. Theme gaming. Thank you. Gosh dang it. Pulled it into lilies again. Well, I appreciate it, Dean. I tell you what. Uh, we'll get there someday. You know, for a while now, we've been saying, hey, yeah, we're going up. We're slowly going up. You know? Slowly, slowly rising up. We're like, uh... You know, some people take the stairs. Taking the stairs up to subscribers you know some people oh another subscriber in the grass matt kerrigan thank you matt um some people take the elevator maybe they they get a viral video or something like that Woo! lots of subs um uh, we're we're on like a real slow mall escalator you know just Slow and steady. Not necessarily stairs, but an escalator. We're doing okay. You know, I like it. It's still keeping the, the live streams eh, somewhat personal. You know, I, I get to talk with all of you fairly well. It's not like the stream, like, chat's going too fast or something like that, and I can't keep up with it. Um, it's not like it's going too slow, and I'm wanting to end the stream early or something like what we were dealing with on Monday. Goodness gracious. Every, every, everyone just decided, oh, I guess uh, live streams are cool if Bo just stays quiet the whole time. Blah, 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 blah. It's not. I don't like just sitting here commenting on what I'm doing. Oh, this guy's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's taking line out now. Yep, no one's chatted yet. That's cool. I'll just, uh, getting him in closer. If anyone's gonna watch this in the future, that's neat. Uh, nope. No one's chatted yet either. That's cool. That's fine. That's what Monday was like. It was freaking awkward. So chat faster. <laughs> Mirror carp too. They get over 100 pounds. I'll see it. When, when, I, when I see it, I'll believe it. I mean, they do get over 100 pounds, but that doesn't mean they're oversized. It's just a rare thing to happen. Even if you have premium, so it makes it really slow. Oh, yeah. Well, this guy's putting on a fight. That's cool. Showing off. I like it. He's got some spunk. I like a, I like a pike with some spunk. Got another one on the other rod, too. 240, 250. God, is he going to break us off? It's at 285 right now. Are you joshing me? How about you come in real fast? That way we can switch on to the other guy. Who's gonna freaking take us out to 300 and break us off. To 70 now. Fish escaped the load light. It was sitting there for like two seconds. Freaking ridiculous, dude. Hey -o on some setups you can use an extra attract lure on the on-screen display you can see the extra circle for it it was just using shiners not 56 then sometimes there is an extra blank circle that can be used for the extra attractor show us how to use set this up i'm not really sure what you're talking about are you talking about using like feeders and stuff like that if you if you're using a feeder on like a bottom rod or a feeder rod you can throw in um you know, some sort of attractant. If you watch the rod setup video, I'm I'm fairly sure I go into detail about that. Thousand year old bow, but he looks like he's 29. Smokey, shush! Don't tell anyone that. We don't want anyone knowing. Half the time, accidentally catching Kermit the Frog out of Lone Star. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Um, 
I'm trying to think of how Kermit talks now. I know it's a uh, Patrick Mahomes voice. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm pa um, I'm Kermit the Frog. Uh, I can't think. That was like a Peter Family Guy sort of thing. Uh, you love the fight with these spikes? I do too. I'm a fighter. Get get in here. They call me Fatty the Patty. I'm not that fat. Don't call me that. But they do it sometimes. That's fine. Get in here, man. Get in here, man. Little trophy. Little trophy. 20 pound trophy. That's right. 1600 bucks. I'll take it. Can we please? I added you. Sure. Sorry. I haven't been paying attention to this thing. Join in as many as you can. What's your favorite unique? Great question. Favorite unique. Mm, I think I'd go with tarpon. Unique tarpon. When it comes up and hits a top water, and a huge fish, and it jumps out of the water, and ah. Tarpon are freaking sweet, man. They are fun fish to catch in Fishing Planet. I have a lot of favorite fish, but uh, tarpon fishing is one of one of my great loves. And sometimes it's on, and sometimes it's really off. And you're just sitting there like, what the frick is going on? I was catching them pretty good the other day, and now it's just nothing. But that's tarpon fishing, you know? Look at me. Sounding like a veteran. <laughs> That's tarpon fishing, you know. Uh, if anyone ever talks about it, you can say that. Just, uh, you know, you just quote me at that point. That's tarpon fishing, you know. If you want to sound like you know what you're talking about, even if you've never caught a trout before, all you have to go is, "That's that's trout fishing. That's fly fishing for you." Never touched a fly rod in my life. Hey, that's fly fishing for you. All of a sudden, you sound like you know what you're talking about. Magic words. Magic words for a magic man. Northern Pike, 6.5. Shoot. D dare we? Dare we throw this out while we try to reel in the other one? I think we do. I, 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 I dare. Yep. Let's go. We got our rods mixed up that time around. We had the big heavy rod in the number one slot. Not the good. Not the good. Been a while since I watched your fishing videos. I remember you had 10k subs now, almost 50k. What's insane? But anyway, how's the fishing going? Fishing is going strong right now. We switched from the dang walleyes to the pike. And I have to say, we've been catching more pike than walleye. But once the fishing calms down again, we'll switch to nighttime and start catching more walleye at night. Um, I was just worried that we were like we were going to be struggling if we didn't start catching some fish to get some money because we were down to like three thousand dollars or something like that which is not good on a free to play game you can't be that low you're going to ruin everything so we really needed to make some money i'm all for experimenting with walleye people say they're good but i don't know if you're just messing with me or if we're really messing up by not doing something correctly or what but yeah, I don't want to go back to Lone Star just because some guy in a YouTube comment told me that walleye is better than bike. You should help Kendall. Yeah, I tried to help Kendall. I put out two videos about him. I I have a feeling he he uh, he filmed three videos in a row, kind of back to back to back on maybe one or two days or something like that. Because he really didn't learn anything, and he didn't, like, spend any time trying to get better, either. We have another another pike on the other rod, too. Um, whereas if he would have played, like, a day or two, and then, like, looked and tried to find something to help him out, and then went back and tried to play again, I feel like the videos would have been better. But unfortunately, that's that's not the case. That's not what happened. That rod just went slack, bro.
Got the plumber, plumber bomber texting me right now. Little 12 pound trophy. I like when the 12 pound trophies just come in like that. That's nice. All right, let's get this guy again. Again, he's been fighting, fighting like a bull. Hook. You should other spot Sandy Capes. Walk to the right bit. Throw red and yellow shad. Uniques all day. Is that right? Leveling from 50 to 54. Wherever you want. I don't know. When I played, um, I was fishing at uh, at San Joaquin because Mongolia hadn't been out yet. So I I just fished at uh, at San Joaquin. I didn't fish at weeping at weeping willows. I I don't even know. You might have to go back and watch when I did my first weeping. Weeping Willows video. I remember I spent like $200,000, $400,000 on carp stuff before going to Weeping Willows. I could have been in the, in the 50 to 54 range. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Not believe my mirror carp could get to 100 pounds. Looked it up. Biggest is 96. Caught by a 12 year old. Mind blown. That is pretty cool. I know there's a common carp that's over uh, 100 pounds, but in Fishing Planet, for some reason, the mirror carp is the one that gets above 100 pounds. And the fish are different. I got you, Dean. All right, plumber, what are you going to say? Fishing with demand. I know I haven't mentioned this ever before. Just offhand or something like that. But one of my biggest pet peeves about fishing it for pike at St. Croix is people telling me to use different hook sizes. I, I, I try different hook sizes all the time. And the reason I fish with 7 knots is because when I was at St. Croix for the first time and trying different things and sucking and finally getting in the pike and catching them, I experimented with a lot of hook sizes. And the 7 knots were the ones that worked the best for me. And I've stuck with 7 knots. And people will ask me, they'll say, oh, the 4 knots are better, do the 4 knots. And we'll test, we'll test them side by side. 4 knot on one side, 7 knot on the other side. Absolute same depth, uh, same bait, everything. Six aught, five aught, whatever you want. The seven aught does better every time. You can go up, you can try an eight aught, you can try a ten aught, you'll still catch fish. Not as good as a seven aught though. So if if you genuinely think that it's better than the seven aught, I I I I tell everyone this challenge because I end up doing it myself and it's just making more work for me and I don't have the time. Genuinely do a scientific experiment. Do two rods with with six shots. Do ten minutes on the same day, same weather, the same thing we would do with a scientific experiment with 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 fishing planet. Throw them out there. Catch as many fish as you can for ten minutes. Go to the same day, same time, do seven knots. Test them. Ten minutes. What fish? There's obviously an element of luck in there. But that'll at least give you like a side-by-side -side comparison. I mean, we've done this with the pike and sturgeon. There's a ton of people who think that the pike are better than the sturgeon. We've tested it. We did three trials in one live stream. The sturgeon did better every single time. You do, you do it, man. Fishing with the man, you do it. I hope you get a hundred or so views. That would be great. A thousand, two thousand, three thousand views, ten thousand views, a million. Are catfish really slow to catch in Marone River, or am I doing something wrong? Eh, no. They used to be a lot easier to catch. Marone River used to be a freaking gold mine for catfish. Then they put out. An update and the fishing for catfish is just a lot slower 
people still manage to catch the uniques. We did what? the la We did two live streams at Marone River trying to catch uniques using even we used feeders with like catfish attractant in the feeders and we still like i think out of two or three live streams at maroon river two hours a piece i think we caught one one unique and people would catch them around us and they'd say oh go here throw here uh use this bait use this hook we would do the exact same thing wouldn't catch them they're just, it's really a very high element of luck, I feel, at Maroon River right now. To put in the time, hopefully you catch a dime, you know what I mean? You were trying to do story time? I know you were. You, you were trying. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we know it's better. Wait, that's that's why we fish for the walleye at Emerald Lake. They're a great pound the money ratio. Ain't ain't no secret, man. Ain't no secret. You're 13 and you know how to fly. Sound like Peter Pan over here. Deep sea fishing would be great. Oh, I bet. Bet it would be great. Tried telling my mate to use small minnows for bass, but he kept using crickets and caught nothing. What a silly goober. What's he thinking, huh? Dumantas. I keep waiting for someone to have a really bad, like, Spanish word or something for a name, and I'm just gonna, like, scream it. Thanks for the sub! And everyone's gonna be like, <laughs> He said a bad word in another language. Ah! The plumber is texting you, or is that code for your wife? <laughs> no, it was an actual plumber. Can you believe it? Plumbers and people come over to my house, and they have no idea that I'm busy. <laughs> Cannot believe you're one of the 46,000 people in the entire world. Shit, you probably feel so stupid that you don't know. <laughs> Oh god, I think my hometown had more than 46,000 people in it. Once I beat my hometown's population, I'll actually feel like I'm something. Yeah, boy. Then it'll feel like everyone in my hometown has subscribed to me. That'll make me feel so good. Oh my god. No. I, uh, I usually don't even tell people that I make YouTube videos. Until we reach like 100, 100k subscribers, I I don't even think I'll... I don't, I don't even tell people in conversation. What do you do for a living? I, uh, I design stuff for marketing. Neat, that's cool. Yep, that's all I do. Black drum, get big. Getting started with a quick Google search in your beginner series and tons of other videos came up. Hey, there we go, GK Sudo. I'm talking about not feeder on your screen now you see circle for shiners if I pick up one of these rods it's gonna ruin how they're laying I see a circle for shiners yes sometimes there is another circle okay when you're using a spinner, perhaps? When you're using a spinner, um, I don't have any with me. You can throw a tail on the spinners. Or a jig head, you can throw like a, a worm on there. Or if it's like a bass jig, you can throw on a newt or a craw or something on there. Sometimes you can do that. Otherwise, I'm not really sure as far as like bait is concerned. Don't know of anything like that. 50 kgs in Australia. I'll believe it when I see it. Specifically because I think the biggest common carp ever caught was like 50 kgs out of France. It's like the biggest common carp of all time. So it's hard to believe that they're also in Australia. Hello, Tyranno King says. Look at the freaking British guy over here. Oh, governor. 
13 know how to fly. Did I read that? Did you actually both in our trash fish? <sighs> Let me tell you this. There's no such thing as a trash fish. There's no such thing as a weed. You know what a weed is? You might think, oh, dandelion, crab grass. A weed is anything that's growing in a location that shouldn't be there. You can call a tulip in a in a grove of sunflowers a weed. Doesn't belong there, it's supposed to be sunflowers. There's a tulip there, by definition it's a weed. Trash fish, same thing. There, there's no such thing as an actual trash fish. It's all subjective. Whatever someone wants to deem as trash fish is, is a trash fish. Common carp, perfect example. They literally brought common carp to the United States to be eaten by all the European people that came over here. They wanted to eat the fish. It was a great, that was a great meal. It was a fish to eat. But today it's a trash fish. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Doesn't, a lobster. Back, back in the day, lobsters were gross. Ew, who would eat a lobster? Ugh. Throw it in with your crops, it'll make your crops grow bigger. Today, lobster, well, it's like $14 for one tail or something. Ridiculous. All right, I'm done, I'm done with the pike fishing. Let's move on to another thing. It's, it's too slow. It's too slow going right now. Let's move on to nighttime. We're going to kayak out and do some more walleye fishing, everybody. <laughs> yeah, boy. Row, he knew row. Look at us go. We're so freaking fast. Have we already fished today for walleye? We fished once, but we're going out another time. Night time. I think the first unique walleye I ever caught at uh, St. Croix was at night, so I'm kind of excited to give it a try. We'll give it a go. We'll see what we can catch. Going on a fishing trip to the Everglades, and I'm going a deep sea fishing. Wow, very nice, Damien. That's awesome, man. No, fishing uh, fishing that way is, is pretty sweet. I remember my first trip. Very cool. Very cool. Let's throw this in the old backpack. The old backpack. Toss that in here. The old floro. And the titanium lead. Oh, I want to make sure we're throwing the right titanium leader on. And what are we going to start with? Let's do the uh, nighttime medium spoon. Nice. All right, where should we throw? To this one first? What should we try? It's just slice up. Technique people use 14 knot, worry palm fruit as bait, and there's a special spot mix. That is really good. You'll average 60 to 80 pounders. <gasps> wow, he's we'll have to we'll have to give it a try next time. We're at weeping. 111 viewers, 84 likes. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means 17 27 people. 27 people don't like me. That's fine. That's pretty good, I suppose. I've done worse. Snagging up on the first try. Let's go. Let's get a stop and go going, boys. Yeah, boy. Try one at this buoy. Try another at the other buoy. See if we get something. Because of the BZO. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, brother. Tried to add me, but it didn't work. I, mean, I have I have some people here. I mean, we're, we're running out of room. I don't think there's going to be enough room for people to join in, but feel free if you can. A couple car problems. I wasn't sure if things changed since the last time I played. I got you. Is this a per hour in real life type deal? What, what you talking about? I mean, it was going to be, but we couldn't even catch enough walleye to even do that. We caught one walleye over here in like 10 minutes. We caught smallmouth bass and brown trout. We even caught a freaking salmon.
What's your biggest blue catfish caught? We're, we're hooked up, everybody. That's right. You saw it here first. Beezy Hub's hooked up. Medium spoon, 911. That's right, 911. You call the police, you catch a smallmouth bass. Nice. That's what I came out here for. Fishing at night with the medium spoon, boys. You catch yourself a smallie. That's what we all want. That's what we all wanted. Your keep net's almost full. Luckily, it is a keep net. We'll just throw one out or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this one closer to the top this time. Maybe that's our issue. We're fishing too close to the bottom. I doubt it with freaking walleye, but maybe. I don't know what my biggest blue catfish caught is, Sid. Ever caught 75? This world record's caught France, 1987. That can't be true, dude. It's it's over 100 pounds. Crusader just got a unique muskie. What's your favorite fish? Goldfish. I don't know. Tiger fish, of course. God, I thought we had something there. It kind of went after it for a little bit there. Go after it in the last 13 feet. Dumb. Should we uh, cast towards another buoy? Let's cast towards another buoy. What DLC should you buy? None of them. Man, I put out a video saying don't buy DLCs. Yeah, I get asked all the time what DLC I'd recommend. None. None of them. Premium. If you wanna buy if you wanna make the game go a little bit faster but still experience it the way it's supposed to, premium best way to go I think anyway same map with you you can try this spot when do rotation people do I'm 13 know how to fly fish sick Alexander woo suspect says you prefer nighttime Ugh. all right we'll do one more with this spoon then we'll switch to the worm give it a try I don't know, man. Do we need to go out further into the kayak and try from the kayak? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what we're missing. Just got into the game, Tinker says. Been following the guide and made... Thank you so much. Hey, no big deal, Tinker. Glad it's working out for you, man. No, I don't, Lucas. Whoa, whoa. Snagged? Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Big ol' snagger fish. Oh. Maybe we're reeling too slow. While I want something a little bit quicker to go after or something, I don't know. All right, let's switch to the jig head. With a four-aught yellow medium spoon? Well, maybe that's our issue. We're using too big of a medium spoon or something. We just, we're only going for big ones or something like that. Say hello. Sorry if you wasn't able to see the full stream. You were watching wrestling. I get it, man. You'd rather watch some big guys wrestle each other instead of me wrestle some fish. I get it. It's fine. It's cool. I always thought that a bunch of dudes wrestling each other was super manly. Hey, brother. I'm gonna hold on to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you on the ground and teach you what it means to be a man. Freaking manly. Hey! that's a fish see that see it it has fins in the tail it has gills and it's a walleye wow he's out a 3.8 pound walleye Shoot, you can only get that at st croix don't see 3.8 pound walleye as an emerald no way jose Ugh, gosh dang it 
Well, we caught $17,000 worth of fish anyway. Well, that's something. Maybe day two will be kinder to us. Should we, uh, do they have, do they have, uh, they don't. Okay. I was going to say, if they have a four-aught yellow spoon or something like that, I'd, I'd get it just to try it. But alas, no spoons. What are the rigs in the lure section? The rigs in the lure section? I can't even put this rod down and check. Is that where you like uh, store your rod setups? Doing a stop and go with a worm. I was born there. Kent, that is not weaving willows. Hey, well, right on, Mark Spain. Still a cool name. Mark Spain. The name Spain. Mark Spain. There's a fish. I saw it. And I was like, oh, I better strike on that, baby. You know, they're not like they're not very oh, man, it's four pounds, dude. Are you serious? They're not super far. They're like right here close to the dock. Let's just throw one out here and see if we get one. Threw out 70 feet. Let's see if we get something. Aiming to the big boat. Yeah, we already tried that, Fran. Thanks, though. Doing current videos. Love it. Just started playing. Hook awesome game. Saving up for the rod than real. Best rod than fishing planet video. There you go. There you go, man. It's a pretty solid setup. You can use that lots of different places the only time where it won't work out necessarily is when you need to get a lot of line in really fast when you're fishing for a fish that's just gets in too fast that's that's where you'll run into trouble boy we hooked up man on another walleye three and four pounds that's what i'm talking about we're going after monsters are we not yeah buddy let's go you know, um, if this was real life, you'd be saying, oh, yeah, e eater walleye. That's a good eater walleye right there. Yeah, three, four pounds. Very nice. That's that's a good eater right there. Throw that one in the cooler. In the live well. We don't really have a live well on this dock. So, thank goodness for the fish keeper, I guess. So, the rigs, huh? Rigs. Are you talking about the little thing that's like right here next to uh, whatever it is on the world map? That's so, uh, so, uh, the only thing I can think of. Hey, chocolate over there. Still alive. Hey, that's good, Alexander. How to make lots of money. A boop, boop, Google. How to make lots of money. Boop, boop. E, E, S, S is the answer. Boop, boop. Hunter Fox is supposed to be asleep. Wait a second. If you're supposed to be asleep, then how are you chatting with me right now? Huh? Oh, you're not asleep. Dumb -um 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 -um. That's against the rules. It would be cool to see Siamese carp in the game. I agree, that would be cool. Yeah. That's where the fish are, up on the freaking bank. Go get them. Goldfish are your fave. They're small but fun to fish and have a tank at home. Very nice. The walleyes take six aughts here. That's what I'm using, man. They're using the six aughts. You know what? Let's just give it a go. We've been fishing from this dock the whole time. Fishing's been mediocre. If we're gonna give this a real shot, let's go freaking... I don't know. Let's go paddle out here. Try it from the freaking kayak, I guess. I 
I don't know, Sid. I don't even think I've caught a blue catfish on this account, to be quite honest. Suspect. Rigs in the shop. Rigs in the shop. Thank you so much, suspect. I don't know, shrimp. What's your big, uh, you can try lift and drop my work better. Yeah, we tried that. We've tried it all. We've done it all. Don't you know? Where were you in the beginning, huh? I'm having to repeat myself because we did all this stuff already. And now people are showing up. Oh, why don't you try blah, 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 blah. Why don't you try blah, 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 blah. If you were here in the beginning, then you would have already seen us try that. How's the stream going? Fantastic. We're catching so many walleye. It's crazy. It's like, why even fish for a pike, you know? <laughs> why? There's so many walleye here. It's like, you don't even think about pike anymore. Because it's like, gah. I'm so much a walleye guy now. I'm all about the walleye life. Carolina rigs. Oh, that's a, okay. Yeah, maybe that's what he's talking about, Brian. Best movie actors. Action movie actors. Flexing on the motorboat. Yeah, well, where's your kayak, huh? That's right. Kayak gang. Hashtag kayak gang. Three, right? Yeah, maybe. Goldfish are delicious. Goldfish. 3 a.m. here in England for sure would be asleep. Yeah, I would say so. Well, we gave that one a try. Let's let's switch on over here. Give this puppy a try here. Is there any jig heads? We could try a six sot jig head. Wouldn't be barbless, but we could try it by George. You can't currently equip this item, but you can place it in your home storage. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we have to trash something. But I don't want to. What would be the best thing to trash? Probably a simple bell, huh? Let's do that. Six aught jig head. Why? Why would it have to go in my home inventory? Oh, we're still at 26 out of 26. <laughs> Stupid. Drop in a sinker. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just see me in a kayak out in the middle of the water, just like, ah, just dropping it into the water. See you later, sinker. See you later, Bell. All right, let's try this, mad lad. Oh, shoot, this worm's going to be too small now. The worm only works for four odds. No! Ugh, I'm going to have to get rid of the other freaking sinker. There we go. We're set up now. We're set up now. Keeping up, but when will the ocean fishing be coming? Uh, I'm pretty sure they said the ocean fishing would be coming out in 2031. So we're only about eight years away. It's going to be pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to it. And you better believe I'm going to be putting out a video when it finally comes out. 2031 will come qu quicker than you think. I did, Lucas. No need to post it again. I have a question. Why does my leader keep breaking when the meter doesn't even turn red, but it says the bait was lost or stolen? I have to put on a new leader and hook. 
I don't know about that, Harold. That doesn't sound like anything I know of. Emerald Lake grind right now, headed to level 18. Right on, Tarkov. Well, it sounds good. Emerald Lake's a fun place to be, too. Bunch of walleye. Love it here. Yeah. Walleye and Emerald are pretty sweet, man. There's a fish. It isn't too big, but it's fish all the same. Lil Smalley. He's beautiful. He's so pretty. I love him. I love them smallies. Let's cast towards this boat over here. We're gonna find one out here somewhere. Big old walleye. Something beautiful we can put on our wall. Boy, it's 922. Time flies. Time flies when you're fishing for walleye. I tell you what. I hope y'all are safe and blessed. Nate Dog. <laughs> Throwing it out, man. Very nice. All right, lift and drop. Prepare to be nailed. Yeah, baby. Got that one star lift and drop. I am number one. Out of three. What could I do to improve this lift and drop? Doing three speed now. Still one out of three. Nope, not really helping. Okay. But we do we get snagged or is it a oh, we got snagged? Okay. Neato. That was fun. Boy, I got excited for a second there, but it was just a snag. Boy, it's uh when you're walleye fishing at St. Croix. Even the snags are fun. It actually feels like you have a fish on. Which is closer to a fish than you'll be most of the time. Uh, that would be pretty cool, Alexander. Time to catch some big ones. Let's do one. One speed. Lift and drop. See if that's going to do it. Many years from now, two weights in the bell will drift ashore. Tell you what, if the goal was to nail a one out of three lift and drop, we are nailing it. There's a fish. Hopefully. Hey, thanks, Dean Gaming. Appreciate it. Been a while since I've watched one of your streams, but you made it today, man. Yeah, trophy walleye. Let's go, boy. It's been it's been a a a, a back. What's it called? Quick, quick minute. What? I don't even know. It's been a long time is what I'm trying to say. It's been a long time since we've caught a big walleye. So it feels good to finally freaking catch one. Jeez Louises. We have spent like 30 minutes trying to catch walleye today. We've caught like four. And two of them were like four pounds. Or less. You're doing this because it's fun. Yeah, it is fun, the fish for pike, isn't it? Many likes do you need to not have to work anymore? A lot. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, you crazy dog? No, the, the problem is that it's not a problem. It's 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 a nice problem to have, I guess. I, I My other job is, is a really good job. So I would I would need hundreds of thousands of subscribers to 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 want to quit that job basically but i also have very little time because of it you know <clears throat> so it's a little bit of give and take
but click it for longer. Click it for longer, eh? Let's try that this time around. We'll click it. We'll click it longer. What are you doing, you crazy dog? You're just a whining over there. Hey, you. Hey, you. We're talking to you. Oslo Poslo. What you doing? Come. Come, 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 come. That actually scared him away. He actually went away from me. Well, okay. Thank you for that, Oslo. All right, we're going to do it longer this time. No money, any tips to make money? Absolutely. Go to Lone Star. It's free. You have no money. Where else could you go? Well, we clicked once on the lift and drop, and we caught a fish. Whoa! He's about to take our eye out. Yeah, boy. <laughs> People ask me all the time, did you wait 30 seconds for that worm to drop all the way down to the bottom so you could catch a three-pound smallmouth? You bet I did. Yeah, that's the kind of life I live. Do you have any new games on your radar? Not really. I mean, they have the uh, Ultimate Hunting or whatever that's taking its sweet time to come out. We haven't even seen a trailer for it, just little bits and pieces. Um, but I'm sure there's other content creators making videos about the little bits and pieces they sent us. Um, I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3. That's a pretty fun little RPG. If you don't know much about me, I'm, I grew up playing RPGs. The Morrowind, Elder Scrolls games, Oblivion, Skyrim, all that sort of jazz, as well as the Fallout games and whatnot. So I'm a big fan of RPGs, and Baldur's Gate 3 is pretty fun. Um, I think that's probably why I like Fishing Planet. A rag! Gross! Um... But yeah, I think that's why I like Fishing Planet and Russian Fishing 4, just because they kind of have an RPG element to them. Well, guys, the live stream's almost over. We got two minutes. The walleye fishing at St. Croix is not all that it seems to be talked up to be. That or we just really suck at it. I don't know what to tell you. Seems like we catch a lot more fish and money fishing for pike. So... If you're coming to St. Croix for the first time, would I recommend you going for walleye or pike? Probably still recommend you going for the pike. At this point. Until someone makes a fantastical video that allows me to catch walleye at the same speed as the pike, I just doubt. I just doubt it. Died out of their death resultant. Wowie Zowie Lucas. That's a good one. Now there's a story worth telling. Oh, so sad, little Laszlo Poslo. I know you all can't hear him, but he is like. He's biting on a toy and whining at the same time. So he's just he's just going. <laughs> it's kind of funny to listen to. <laughs> That's what you sound like. All right, let's spend a little bit more time. You know what? Give me, give me, give me, give me a second. I realize it's late. Some of you have to go. If so, thank you for being here. Really appreciate you being here. Give me a moment to go upstairs real quick. Um, we're gonna watch an ad during that time. Easy Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Arr, aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. And if you're feeling extra generous, become a hub lord for only 10 pieces of booty a month. But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a hub master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a hide joke? <laughs> Curse you, Bo! A fast ye matey! A guy! And now, a glimpse into the future.
Shamu! You like that episode from John B. Hey, they keep getting views. I mean, you freaking... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was fun. Now, back to your scheduled broadcast. I just wanted to say... Thanks. Yeah, boy, it's so fun to just sit in front of an empty screen. Welcome to the BZ Hub Halftime Show, not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away. There, I set it to loop. That way, in the future, it doesn't go to a black screen. All right, we're going to fish for a little bit longer. Fish for a little bit longer to make a few more extra bucks before we leave St. Croix. Cause I'm a little low on cash if you get my drift. BG3 is great. I agree, man. Hot minute. That's what I was thinking of, Damien. Thank you. Hello, mate from Australia. How's it going, Barry? It's too strong for Bass to Everglades and I'm not getting much XP. Ooh, I've been there before, man. I know how that is. Yeah. I mean, you can try going to White Moose if you just want to try catching some bigger fish because you're not getting a lot of XP or something like that. Otherwise, but St. Croix is level 30. If you still have your walleye gear, I'd recommend just going back and catching some walleye on the feeder rods and then grabbing a less strong rod and going back and catching bass if you want to or just get what you need and then go go somewhere else whatever you want to do you got options you can go to falcon you can go to everglades you can go to emerald to catch more walleye come on number one rod there we go there we go boy there we go boy i knew you were a winner i knew you were a winner when i saw you <clears throat> Theme gaming with the hot dog sticker. Love it. Spinning is for lures. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Casting spinning rods. I have both, but they'll know which is better. Yeah, I haven't really noticed much. I think for, uh, if I had to break it down real quick, I would assume that casting reels and rods are stronger earlier on like you're you'll you'll most likely have access to a stronger bait casting rod in real combo before you have the same as a spinning rod in real however um you'll probably be able to throw out further with the spinning rod and reel the spinning rod and reel combos tend to be longer like the rods themselves Versus the bait casters tend to be shorter. Um, that's just going off memory. If I could look at the store right now, I'd be able to tell you a little bit better. This is all the. I mean, right here between these two at level 30. The, uh, the bass caster is just better in every way compared to the uh, level 30 Loki, which I didn't buy the bass caster because I, I had an extra spinning reel that I was wanting to use. But at level 30, if you had an extra $3,000, not only do you get a 7 foot 10 rod, which is longer, which would allow you to throw out further, but it's also 9 to 24 versus 6 to 23. So it's a stronger rod, a longer rod. Although the River Tex Loki would allow you to use slightly heavier lures. So I guess that's the only downside. 
otherwise let's see here oh they don't even have a level 30 uh reel for you to use for for bait casting you'd have to go to 31 for this guy so yeah fishing and up in Bethesda's upcoming sci-fi game man I just hope that that game ends up being good I I don't know I like sci-fi to a degree I'm more of a fantasy guy myself I know there's guys that love space and are kind of iffy on fantasy I'm the opposite I am I have always been a bigger fan of fantasy over over uh, science fiction stuff I guess but it is it is what it is I I still play the Mass Effect and stuff like that too. So, you're my role model. Oh my goodness. Hope you and the plumber have a good night off. Thank you. When's the next stream gonna be? Monday. Ooh, there's a fish. Ooh, there's a fish. For Bonds Lake. Oh, okay. What is Bonds Lake? Half time only. Yeah, Fernie's still here. I could be on the BZ Hub crew for two dollars. It's two dollars, man. That's like, I I think the McDonald's doesn't even have a dollar menu now. They have a two dollar menu, so that's like a McChicken. BZ Hub member for a full month, McChicken. You can't eat a membership to BZ Hub, can you? It's not going to fill up your belly, is it? No. I'll never pressure anyone to member to membering up. That's up to you. Seven and a half pounds. Wow, that's a monster. common carp at the delta oh yeah hammer i mean that's what we said in the last episode right you watched the last episode of the uh, free to play right you saw that you know what i'm talking about would you work for fishing planet game design team i i would i would gladly be a consultant of some sort but i i probably wouldn't work for them other other than that And you're still studying. Hey, friend, that's awesome. What uh, what are your exams in? Okay, Smokey. End of the school year. Oh, it's coming up, eh? Have you ever fly fished in real life? Absolutely. We have uh, multiple videos fly fishing. Got off of work and saw you were live. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, you made it. Bo is the best. Bo is the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring it down. But you have to go to bed. Yeah, I should probably go to bed here soon. I want to do... Um, I started this whole venture of coming to uh, St. Croix for this video at $44,000 to test the whole walleye thing. I had to buy like a $12,000 rod and then I repaired something for 4,000 and then I had to buy an $8,000 license and $9,800 to travel. <sighs> so my 44,000 went, went down pretty quick. I came real close to just testing this whole walleye thing. Um, on the uh, on the other account with the millions of dollars but then I was like yeah I'm already there on the free-to-play account plus if the wall I do turn out to be great then I'll just make a bunch of money for the free-to-play account and that will be great and maybe we can add it to the next episode of free-to-play but geez Louise man 
That was worse than I thought it would be. Hasn't been a single one you haven't seen. Mass exam and an English exam. Oh, Ooh, okay. Whoa, we got a fish on. Oh, you got off, you dirty dog. Not sure how I feel about it yet. Yeah, that's how everyone feels about Maku Maku. <laughs> you get so excited because you're like, oh, it's the first South American map. Yes, I can finally catch like Arapaima and some of the freaking big catfish and like, uh, oh, I can, I can go after the Payara and stuff like that. And then you get there and you're like, this place kind of sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Makumaku is like one of the biggest letdowns in the later game. Because you hope that it's going to be good. And then it just just isn't. <sighs> Thank you, Smokey. Equal parts fantasy inside. I really like stories that can blend both together. I got you. Like the one Rick and Morty episode of uh, the Dragons episode. I got you. Heading out in the morning for white bass, crappie, and bass. Thing, man. Sounds sweet. I was thinking about going out for uh, some carp on Friday. Be my first time fishing for carp here in Milwaukee. <laughs> kind of excited about it. I've got an idea in mind. I've never been there, though. So it'll kind of be interesting. Though I don't think I'll be able to get there super early. Because I'll need to drop my uh, wife off at work. Unless she can work at home. Um, but yeah, thought it would be fun. St. Croix next week on Monday. I'm not sure. May 15th is the end of the school year. We'll ride on. Taven States is here. How's it going, Taven? currently at 23,000 not the great not the great not bad yourself not too bad I saw that. Very cool, man. Your dogs are going crazy. That can either mean that your dogs in real life are actually, like, going crazy, or maybe your feet hurt. Boy, I tell you what, my dogs are barking. My dogs are going crazy right now. I can't tell if this is a pike or a muskie. He's acting weird for a pike. He's jumped out of the water multiple times. Like, fully out of the water. And that's one thing I remember when I first came to St. Croix and was fishing here doing this. We caught a lot more muskie just accidentally, basically. Like, we weren't trying to catch muskie because the muskie kind of sucked. But, uh, but we would catch them. But nowadays, uh, I can't even tell you the last time I caught a muskie while pike fishing. Get in here, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. Please switch over to the other rod fast, you know. There we go. Let's go. 
Um, I would love to if I had the rods to do it, but I feel like it would be a waste of money to go there. I don't think I'll get anything. No, I haven't, Hammer. Favorite genre of food. Old trophy pike here. Eighteen pounder. Eighteen pounder flounder. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, if I had a gun to my head, I'd probably say Mexican food. I love me some, some good Mexican food. If I, if I go places and I, if I'm hungry, like if I see a Mexican place, that's usually where I'll go. I just like Mexican restaurants. People there are nice. Food's good. They give you chips and salsa. You can get a margarita or something like that. I just, I have, Mexican restaurants are awesome. Um, but I, I like all sorts of stuff. Italian seafood. Obviously, Kansas City. Barbecue is pretty freaking sweet. But. But, yeah. My favorite food is Fishing Planet. Finally, someone's speaking some sense. Forty-four pound common, very nice. Have you been to Mexico yet? No. No, I have not. Try Indian food. I have tried Indian food. I like Indian food too. Good curry is pretty sweet. We uh, went to, um, oh shoot, what's it called? Can't think of what it's called at the moment. The, uh, the Wally? It's called the Wally, I think it's called the Wally. Yeah, we went to uh, a celebration of the Wally for uh, my... Hey, Thanks for all the help! 11 Canadian dollars! Thank you so much, dude, I really appreciate it front party in the back <laughs> um, but yeah we went to a Dwali festival uh, at my uh, wife's uh, university hospital back uh, last year and they had a ton of food and it was fantastic I will go to any Dwali festival ever if anyone ever invites me my answer is yes, before they even finish the sentence. Though I might say, will there be food? <laughs> Just to make sure that that's a standard thing. But yeah, I ate good that night. Put it that way. I don't even care if it's vegetarian. Heck, if it tastes like that, I'm fine with it. I don't need to have meat if it tastes like that. Pretty freaking good. Michael Myers is here, how's it going, dude? Do you like doing fishing plant tournaments? No, I don't. Uh, I've done one. Didn't have a fun time. And I haven't done one since. I, I, I genuinely just don't think I care about the game that much. Like, it's a fun game. I enjoy making videos about it and helping people out. But the guys who really like doing tournaments just spend way too much time playing the game. Just popped in this smash the like button. Say hope you have a good night. Have I had a long day. Oh my goodness. A long day and you're off to bed. Well, hopefully not too long. Get some rest, man. Thanks for stopping by too. Really appreciate it. Didn't have to stop by for little old me, but you did. And I appreciate it. You're sitting on Max Level Fishing Planet at the moment, looking forward to new content, praying for more saltwater, maybe even five fly rods. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I hear you. Loud and clear. Would be cool. Don't you get me wrong. 
let's switch the time and catch a few more fish in the next time. Two minutes. Gosh. Setting a timer for two minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> we hit it. I know we did, Smokey. Big, big win. Big, big win. 118 now. The question is, now that we did a uh, very lackluster walleye versus pike in this video, should we should we change the name of the video to something else? What's your favorite holiday? Halloween. I used to be a huge fan of Christmas, and I still do love Christmas. But uh, as you get older, Christmas becomes uh, Christmas without kids becomes kind of a, a hell on earth. To be quite honest, you have to drive around to different parents house and family members houses and you bring gifts each and every one of them and you gotta drive eight hours to a different area you spend the night at one place and you're in a hurry because you gotta go to another place the same day and people are blotty blotty blying and not spending time with family and doing makeup in the freaking bathroom and then we have to go and it's like okay well it was nice seeing you guys glad we spent all this time coming here got to see you for a few hours merry christmas and then we drive off to another place so now i like halloween get to watch a bunch of spooky movies give uh give a bunch of candy to kids Maybe get dressed up in a funny costume, tell spooky stories, don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, Halloween's, Halloween's a more fun holiday as an adult, I think. Once I have kids, maybe it'll change. Going to bring in Australian Matt Murray Cod, yellow belly carp, lots of good fish. Man, I, I would hope sooner than later, but you never know, man. You never know. Yeah, Christmas can be expensive, that's for sure. The one saltwater fish you really want in the game are jacks. I'd be cool with some jacks, man. I like jacks. They're cool. Jack Corral. So we caught a lot of last time we were in Florida. Pretty fun fish. Ah, what we're we doing? We're switching. Catching a few more fish before the end of the stream. Fill up the keep net anyway, you know. Two birthdays in the same month. That's awesome. My uh, my niece's birthday is December 25th. Like right on the dot. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. I I've heard that it's lackluster because you know it can kind of as you get older the gifts kind of combine. But man, I would play that out so much. I would always be asking for more expensive things and just being like, well, it's Christmas and my birthday together, so it's like I can get something more expensive, right? <laughs> As a kid, I would be playing that freaking hard. Till next time. See you later, Hammer. 
First stream, love it. Keep up the great work. Hey, thanks, shrooms. Well, glad you could make it, and we'll see you next time. gonna say my god man we're gonna have one go off your wife's birthday today well what are you doing in the live stream i wouldn't even i wouldn't unless she was asleep i would not even dare going into a live stream during my wife's birthday well that would just be cruising for a bruising not literally though no domestic violence but uh yeah, definitely figuratively. Rods Gaming's back's right on. Well, thank you, Alexander. Oh. Yeah, it's only 10 p.m. for us. So tomorrow, 5-4, eh? You live in Thailand? Oh, cool. Well, that makes more sense, Mark. Mark Spain. Though I guess with the name like Mark Spain, you could get away with anything. What are you doing on live stream during my birthday? I can't believe you. You don't talk to Mark Spain that way. I can do whatever I want. YG Zero. Right-ho. Thanks for the sub. Level 38, Kanik Creek, here we come. Not really. I ain't going to know Kanik Creek. Are you joshing me? What, do I, do I want to lose all my money or something? That would be a horrible idea. Live in Louisiana, very cool. I've been to New Orleans once. I ate charbroiled oysters a bazillion times. Freaking love those. And I cannot wait to go back to New Orleans. But I want to go with people I know so that we can actually like go out and do more fun things. Yeah, you live out there too. That's true. You're back, right on. I bet it was great, but now it's thrashed. New Orleans? Man, I was there just a year ago. 
I had a great time. I worked in a hotel room the entire time, but then my wife would get out of her conference during lunchtime and in the evening, around like five o'clock or so. So we would leave for lunch, go out and eat something, shrimp hoagie or something like that. And then I'd come back, keep working until five o'clock or so. And then my wife and I would go out, go eat some more food, go check out some different areas. Then we walk back to the hotel again. I had a great day. I mean, we did that for three days. I had a great time in New Orleans, it was fun. I did have a guy ask me about my shoes and he like pulled out a lot of cash. At that point I was over it. I was like, nah, I don't care what you're saying. I just walked off. <laughs> I was like, no. This smells fishy. Do you have tips for fishing plan? Oh, I suppose. Just in the form of like 250 videos or something like that. Yeah. We got, we got a few tips, Noah Farms. I'd, I'd recommend starting with the uh, free to play series. Go watch the free to play series. Give, give it a, give it a watch. You prefer to live in the city or out in the country? Eh, it depends. I, I tell you, the best that you could ask for is just uh, on the outskirts of a big city, I think would be pretty sweet. Have a little bit of the country, but also, you know, within uh, 20 to 30 minutes, you could have anything you could ever want, I guess. Would be pretty sweet. You got a new account on your PC? Sweet. What size hook are you using? Seven knots at the moment. Seven knots, seven knots. I'll tell you what though, we could let's let's change it up. Let's do something different. Let's throw a large minnow on this. We only got a few more minutes anyway, so before we uh, max out our keep net. Let's throw a large minnow out there and see if we can manage to catch a unique in the last two catches. Unless this manages to be a 27 pounder, which based off the fight, it is not going to be that. Four pounder, the biggest of the day, yeah. We have streamed for so long that we uh, ran out of music to listen to. Sweet. Do you use your DLC? I, I don't use... The only time we really use DLCs is when um, new maps come out that we can't reach. Usually people will uh, buy DLCs for us as like a gift contribution to the channel, which is super nice. And uh, trying to get my leg up. Um, then we'll go out and fish in those new locations. Show off what is included in the DLC and that sort of thing. Are you 86 years old? Psh, I wish. Golly, I remember 86. That was a fine year. A fine year being 86, but uh, that was a good while ago. got your shoes and they say you've got them on street you're on then take your shoes and knife for gunpoint yeah I mean that would have been pretty crazy because we were like we were in a super busy area so that would have been super crazy for them to, to do that but the thing is is like I don't even wear expensive shoes like my shoes are like $40 
40, 40, 50 dollars maximum. So I, I just, <laughs> if you are trying to take my shoes at knife point, then I mean, con congrats, you got 40, 50 dollars shoes that are probably very worn in. Weird thing to want, you know? You betcha. Go check out the free to play series. It's broken down by level. I don't know where that is, Alexander. Getting so bored fishing for sturgeon, I know, right? Just the way New Orleans is, crowded or not. Jeez Louise. I've been to a good handful of big cities. I've, I've never felt unsafe in a big city. It's be because there are so many dang people there. But that that would have been a first if something like that happened. Cause man, there were there are people everywhere. But yeah, just the just the way he started that, I I knew he was going to offer some sort of scam or something. I and I just I had no interest. I was over it. Okay. Someone said the devs are working on a new map. Well, we put out a video saying that they were working on a new map. And we showed the, uh, post in the forum that showed the devs saying that they were working on a new map, so I'd say it's pretty realistic, I suppose. I get bad anxiety. I, I, I can imagine so, man. Whoa, did you just see that? It was pulled out and the freaking fish flew out and, and, and unhooked. That was interesting. All right, everybody. Well, this was fun. Sorry, EV fan and Dominic here. Not going to be able to fish with you. And we'll, uh, we'll finish unfriending all these peeps. But thanks for playing with us. That was fun. We will see you on Monday. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. But we're going to do something. So... Guess we'll find out then. <laughs> All right. Well, take care. We'll see you on Monday. Not sure what, but we'll do that. Keep breaking your pull, and I don't know if I should buy a DLC. You don't need to buy a DLC. You need to watch the free-to-play series. It's going to help you out more than you know. So you don't have to ask any more questions. You literally just need to watch the free-to-play series. It will make your life way, way easier. All right. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.